Welcome to this short demo of Oracle Performance Hub, Ash Analytics, and Real-Time SQL Monitoring. Here we are on the database homepage. Let's go to Performance, Performance Hub, Ash Analytics. Ash Analytics displays the data from the active session history. The default view is very similar to top activity. In the center of the page, we've got average active sessions by weight class. In the lower left corner, we've got the top SQL for the time range selected. And the lower right, we've got the top user sessions for the time range selected. At the top, we've got the time picker, which allows us to choose the time that we're interested in analyzing. We can expand, contract. And as we choose different uh, time range, it's a master detail, so this is the time range selected and then the average active session data is displayed in, in, in the center. Uh, the uh, data is by default by weight class. Again, um, well-known weight classes are green for CPU, blue for I.O. In this case, this graph has some concurrency. The, AF, the ASH graphs only show the weight classes that are present in the data that is selected. Now, in active session history, there's more than 100 dimensions of data, 100 dimensions that are sampled from every active session once a second. And ASH Analytics exposes these dimensions and lets us slice and dice the data to do more comprehensive analysis than was available before. So we have a wide variety of dimensions. Um, some top dimensions are weight class, weight event, instance, service, module, action, user session, and SQL ID. Some SQL uh, dimensions include SQL ID, uh, force matching signature, plan operation, op code, and so on. Some additional dimensions for PL SQL. In resource consumption, we can see um, things about object and blocking sessions, various session identifiers, including PDB, parallel process, username, and so on. And again, a number of session attributes. So what we can do in, in, in Ash Analytics is we can slice and dice the data by the various dimensions. So if it's a real simple change, for example, we can change the weight class to weight event. And now we're seeing the workload over the time range selected. These are the various weight events present in this time range. We can do some interesting new things with Ash Analytics. So for example, for SQL, what I could do is, again, every active session is sampled once a second. And if that session is executing a SQL statement, ASH captures what SQL plan operation line is being executed. So I can go ahead and click on SQL plan operation. And these are the plan operations that were captured in the time range. You'll notice as I, as I hover over a section on the right-hand side of the graph, the uh, corresponding uh, legend is highlighted. Or if I highlight a legend, the corresponding data is highlighted in the graph. Now the interesting thing here is I've selected SQL plan operation and I see the majority of my ac activity are table access full, which most DBAs know means full table scans. Now that's interesting. What I can do is if I click on a legend here, this becomes my data filter. So now I filtered the data on this graph by SQL plan operation table access full. So I, this is just the part of my workload that are those full table scans. And all the data in, on the page corresponds to that filter. So here, these are those SQL that are doing those full table scans. And these are the user sessions that are um, doing those full table scans. But what might mo be more interesting is if I could find out what objects. So basically, I see the majority of the uh, full table scans are being get done against this H line item table. So with a few clicks here, I've seen something new that was never available before. I, I've been able to see that most of my workload is full table scans. These are the SQL doing the full table scans. And these are the tables that are being scanned. So that's kind of interesting. I'm going to return myself to the default view. Turn back to user session here. And I'm going to clear my filter. Now, again, most DBAs know about the weight classes that CPU is green, I.O. is blue, and various weight, of, weight classes are uh, 
orange or yellowish. And I notice I've got this big blob of yellow or orange here in, in my graph. So I'm going to, again, you can zoom in or zoom out with Ash Analytics. And I'm going to zoom in and kind of see what's going on with this big blob of orange here. So here I have got a weight class. I see it's an application weight class. I'm going to change to weight event. And these are the weight events. And I really see the majority of this weight event, this orange here, is or all of it really, is this NQTX row lock contention, which again, most EBAs know that it means uh, various sessions are contending over a specific row in a database block. Again, let's filter on that. So I click on that. That becomes my filter. Again, this is my, all the data is filtered. And I can see in the lower left side, there's only one, only one SQL involved in this contention. It's an update statement. That makes sense. Um, and here, on the lower right-hand side, I can see these are the sessions that are waiting on that. Um, these are the sessions that are being blocked, waiting. And I can, I can actually go further, and I can go and find the blocking session. So here I see, again, I'm going back in time. Earlier today, this happened. This session was blocking. This is the SQL statement that was being executed, and these are the sessions that were being blocked. Now, one even further than that, I know my developers have have instrumented uh, their code with uh, modules and actions to help us identify where certain SQL statements are being executed from. So I go here, and I'm just going to choose action. So here I see that this uh, update statement is in the module comp compens and this action, calcomish. So what I've seen here with just a few clicks is this blocking session. This is the SQL doing the blocking. I saw the sessions being blocked. And now I know exactly where in the code that this SQL is coming from. So once again, uh, Ash Analytics lets you slice and dice the data that was available to you um, much more in much more interesting ways than were available before in top activity. Now, in addition to the Ash Analytics, in Perfub, we also have real-time SQL monitoring. And again, the real-time SQL monitoring data that's displayed corresponds to the time range selected above. So by default, when you come to the screen, the last five minutes is selected, but you can expand it as I have to look for a longer time range of SQL. Now, real-time SQL monitoring uh, monitors expensive SQL, which is defined as SQL that takes more than five seconds of DB time or that runs in parallel. And it allows you to dive into SQL statements and see what, what's going on in, in those SQL statements. So here, I'm going to go ahead and select this one. This is my real-time SQL data. This is my SQL statement, the text, information about when it was executed. And the real interesting stuff about real-time SQL monitoring is it basically shows the SQL execution plan. So this is a relatively simple one, right? A full table scan, full table scan, hash join, sort group by, and then return the data. Now, one of the very interesting things about real-time SQL monitoring, so there's this activity column on the right-hand side telling you where the DB time was being spent. And in this case, if I look here, 75% of the DB time on this statement was this full table scan of the H-line item table, which again, that corresponds to the uh, information I saw before when I was slicing and dicing the uh, ASH data. So very briefly, this was a view into real-time SQL monitoring. So again, in summary, Ash Analytics allows you to slice and dice the database performance data on many different dimensions, do your own analysis. Real-time SQL monitoring lets you look into long-running SQL statements and where they're spending their time. Mm -hmm.